Andrew McCart, IFL TV, probably sponsored by Everlast. I'm here with Lerone Harrison, nicknamed Buzz. Uh, Oliver Harrison's son, I mean, Jamie Moore and everyone's talking highly of you. I mean, you're about to turn pro with Jamie. I mean, how excited are you about that? I'm very excited, you know. I mean, there's a lot of good people at my weight, but I feel like I can make a good start to my career this year, next year, in the next few years, and hopefully become one of the top, top boxers at my weight. And what weight was that? I mean, you mentioned a lot of top boxers at your weight, there's a lot of good fighters there, but what weight, is we, what weight are you talking about? I think I'm going to try for Super Feather, maybe lightweight, but Super Feather is what I'm going to go for, yeah, I think so. Uh, did, obviously, Jimmy Moore, you're going to be training alongside him, he's got some great fighters in his gym, man, you've got to keep fires around here, train guys like Martin Murray, Jack Carroll's here and stuff like that. What's it like to train with, with these guys, Santo Cameron as well, do you know what I mean, Sean McGoldrick's here, uh, some great mark... You're pretty sure I saw, saw him, Mark Lee, he's, he's here somewhere. I mean, some great names in that gym, man. I mean, what's that gym like to train, train in and alongside these guys? It's good, you know, I mean, they're all similar to my weight as well, so I can get some good sparring with them. Obviously, they're high level, so they train very hard in there. And yeah, it keeps me on my toes, it keeps me ready for my debut and stuff like that. Yeah, it's good. Have you, has it always been a dream of yours to, to turn pro? And uh, if so, man, turning pro, what, what's the goal for you? What's the sort of like the dream of yours is it become world champion British champion what, what is it I mean everyone's dream is to become world champion you know but hopefully that's what I can do yeah it's always been my dream to become a world champion become a very good boxer yeah I mean I think this gym right here with Jamie we're here right now he's opened up a, a, an amateur gym when you look around here yeah, man this is great for the kids of this year isn't it yeah it's amazing um, my dad had a gym you know in Salford as well and he took a lot of people off the streets a lot of you know, people who wouldn't get many opportunities and built them up, it's, it's very good for around there as well. You mentioned your dad all over there, I mean, he's done a lot of things for guys, Martin Murray, Jamie, and loads of guys and stuff like that. What would your dad think of right now, of seeing you turn pro? How proud would he be? He'd be very proud. I mean, he's taught me everything that I know, so hopefully I can show it in the ring and do something with myself, yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm sure you will, to be honest, but I've got to ask you, Buzz. Where does that where does that nickname come from? I, I do have to switch the subject quite quick there, but it's been it's been intriguing. No one's told me why you're called Buzz, so why are you called Buzz? Honestly, I'm not sure. That's what <laughs> I've been called since forever in the gym. Any, anyone you ask who knows me from the gym would call me Buzz. So that's just what it is. My dad named it me, so I guess it's just stuck since then. Now listen, just leave that a mystery. Leave that a mystery. No one, if it, you're going to become a world champion, don't tell anyone the nickname where you call Buzz. Your pro debut then. When 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 are you hoping for? Hopefully around September, that's uh, this year definitely, but hopefully around September. Getting my medical done in July, so everything's building up, so. You, you, September time, I mean, we've seen a lot of young amateurs come through the ranks, young guys come through the ranks, they want to fight, they fight maybe five, six, seven, eight, ten times a year sometimes, they just fight every month. Obviously with this, this, this stuff that we're going on on this planet right now, like, you're going to have to take maybe difficult fights in terms of, because sometimes you we might not it's starting to ease up a little bit mind you but you might not get the easier journeyman to face you might get chucked in with somebody that's got a winning record are you ready for that are you ready to face somebody that's got a winning record to just basically instead of dipping your toe at the shallow end just dive right ahead first in the deep end you ready for that yeah i think i'm definitely ready i mean the sparring that i'm getting and the people who i'm training with you know jamie and everyone they put me through everything so i feel like i'm ready for whatever comes my way Lerone, is nigel behind me he was. <laughs> he's just gone. He's, he's, I knew that. I could feel every time that man's behind me, I can sense it. Like he's coming in. Nigel, can you come in? Just get in front of me so I can see everything you're doing. This young man right here. I mean, you see him in the gym. A lot of people might not see, know who Buzz is, but explain to how good this young man. Buzz. Mm. Hey, your name? No, he's a uh, kid's a uh, kids. We've known these kids since he was a baby. Since he was a baby, uh, obviously, uh, the son of the late great. Uh, Oliver Harrison, uh, God rest his soul, and, uh, and Buzzy's doing exactly what Oliver would have wanted him to. Really, um, he's, he's a phenomenal talent uh, and, and can fight. That's 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 as basic as, as basic as I can say. Said he can fight. I mean, how excited should we all be as boxing fans? But when you get when you get young fighters that have a, a famous dad in the game and stuff like that, sometimes too much pressure gets put on them. We see it, but sometimes Campbell had to maybe feeling the pressure. Now he's coming through at 18, 19 years old, 20 years old, whatever. But how uh, how good is this young man? I mean, does he feel the pressure being who his dad was is and stuff like that? I don't think there's a lot. I mean, there's not a lot of pressure. There's no expectation on him. You know, he can what, what's you know what can he do? Yeah, he can be fantastic. Uh, in the worst case scenario, you know, he bombs out. But we don't believe he'll bomb out. 
believe with the right management that he's got, he can be navigated and uh, and he can do a lot. Campbell, you know, Nigel, uh, uh, Connor, Ben. It's, you know, there's, there's a lot of pressure on a lot of kids, but some thrive on it. You know, some may capitulate and you know and go one way or the other. And I believe this kid can can go all the way. You know, again, we're not putting pressure on him. We just want him to enjoy the ride. And it's a great story. It's a lovely story. You know, Oliver trained Jamie, trained me, and um, and if we can have um, an ounce of, of what Oliver gave gave to us uh, with this kid, if we can install some of what Oliver saw us many many years ago, then we believe that he can profiteer off that. And uh, but but this is this is his interview. He's wanted an IFL interview for a while, so this is the bucket list for him. So I'm going to leave him. Well done. <laughs> there we go. So this is, I'm the first IFL guy. Oh, that's a privilege. For the fans that we're going to watch this that don't know who your sort of fighting style haven't seen you fight before how would you describe the way you approach a fight or in a fight I mean I can switch a bit I do quite a few different things in the ring like I don't always stick to one thing so I guess whoever gets in the ring with me first will have a surprise there you go. Well, I won't keep you much longer I mean, that's my, my catchphrase nowadays I mean, this gym's just opened up it's sweating in here I'm hot I've got a hoodie on I'm sweating like sweating buckets here so it's an absolute pleasure. Hopefully this is the first of many interviews I get to do with you and hopefully when that pro day becomes around I can be there ringside to watch it. But Laurent, thank you so much for doing this Fire TV and uh, until the next time. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you, thanks mate.